Hey, 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 Sigurli Vatni, how are you? How are you this afternoon? It's, it's Tuesday, June 14th already. How have you been doing? Uh, we just concluded the one week fasting and I'm just checking in to see how you guys are um, after the fasting. I know some people had challenges because they told me that, you know, various things popped up that caused them to not have been able to complete the fasting. But I hope you are one of those who was able to, con um, to continue to the end. I want you to know that if you are still interested in doing the fasting, whether you didn't start before or you started and had to stop, you can still continue the fasting in the group. Uh, just post in the group that you are doing the fasting so we can follow up with you and encourage support for you so um, that you can continue and you will report back to the group about how your progress is going and so on. So I do want to encourage people to do the fasting, even if I'm not guiding the whole process the night before, um, I still want people to be actively doing their intermittent fasting, okay? So this is a support group. So we we will chip in here and there to, to help push you along. Um, the recordings are available. And so you can still do your fasting if you want to. All right. So I'm here today to, to discuss something very special. And that is, are you standing in your own way? Are you getting in your own way? Are you self-sabotage comes on to your health? And this is, this is something that you need to stop and think about because sometimes we don't realize that we are the very ones who are standing in our own way uh, in terms of making certain type of progress. And today we want to specifically think about that as far as health and wellness is concerned. Because we do stand in our own way sometimes with our progress in terms of our health. So no, I want to ask you if you if you think in any way that you may be one of those persons, just um, figure out a way to get over it because you can get over it. It is not something that happens and it has to remain there. It, yeah, it is something you can work on and get over, okay? So <clears throat> think about how you might be getting in your own way as far as your health, right? And if you identify that you are having this issue, how can you start working on getting over this? Now, one of the first thing to do is to ask yourself why you need to make a change today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, but today. Why is it important to make this change? Why is it important to make it today, to not delay? This is my health. This is what is going on. I need to make a change. Why do you think you need to make a change and make it today? So after you have identified why you need to make the change, what is the single most important reason for you to make a change, then I want you to start thinking about what will happen if I don't make this change? What could possibly happen if I don't make this change? Would I end up being sick? Would I end up being paralyzed? Could I end up being, um, being dead? You know, that's the ultimate. But is it possible that this illness that I have here could kill me off at a young age? Is it possible that I could end up in the hospital? Is it possible that it could cost me a lot of money in terms of treatment? Right? So think about why you need to make this change first of all, and then if I don't make this change, what could happen? 
what could happen? What could happen in the short term? What could happen long term? We have to start looking at things from those critical angles in order to see, is it necessary to make a change? Is it necessary to rethink the way we are treating our health? Right? So those are the, 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 the two things I want you to just look at. And I will join again with another conversation about another as aspect of this that we can, we can um, dive into. But for right now, I just want you to, to consider, are you one of those persons who might be sabotaging your health? And if you are, why do you think you might need to make a change? Why do you think it's necessary for you to do something different and do it now? And if you don't do that, what are the consequences? What could happen if you don't do that, right? So this is all um, food for thought, food for you to chew on you know, to think about seriously. And I will get back to you to follow up with this. So wherever you see this video, just comment. Comment. What do you think? Are you one of those persons who are really getting in, in your own way? Are you self-sabotaging your health? Do you need to make changes? What are the changes that you need to make now? And if you don't do it, what might happen, right? So again, this is your girl, Evadne. And thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. And I'll get right back to you with another follow-up to this, this conversation. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.